Hello and welcome back to new video. Since you sent me messages that you want to see Pixel Experience 12 beta on this phone and video about working Google Cam port, I made one for you. Unfortunately, I need to say that this beautiful RAM is discontinued for 7T and uh, development is stopped. I hope that new developer will take over and continue to maintain this ROM. Last update of this ROM was at the beginning of December 2021 and it is still in beta. Current bugs are fingerprint sensor, Google Pay is buggy, hey Google Voice assistant shortcut doesn't work and phone can get really hot under heavy use. You can even register your fingerprint, but you will not be able to unlock your phone most of the time. If you can live with those bugs and unlock your phone with the pin or pattern, then install it and test it for yourself. But I need to say that this ROM is real Pixel experience and you can convert your phone to Pixel with Android 12. In this ROM you will get stock Pixel launcher and all Google stock features and most of the apps will see your phone like a Google Pixel device. You can even download Google Camera from Play Store directly, but it will not work at all. In the next couple of minutes of this video I will go through the settings and interface of this ROM just to show you how it looks like. I need to say that performance of this ROM is really good, everything runs smooth without any lag issues or something like that. I hope this video will be helpful to you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.
Because this ROM and 99% of custom ROMs come with shitty camera app, I will show you which Gcam port I use and how to configure it properly to get almost every feature to work. It definitely pays off to install Google Cam port because stock oxygen camera cannot compare with Google processing, especially indoors and low light conditions. I have noticed that Gcam will produce better images when you use it in combination with custom ROM. You can install it on your Oxygen OS without root, but it's not so impressive on stock ROM. In very good lighting conditions, both cameras will produce similar results. Gcam will give you more details, better dynamic range and more even results on all three camera lenses. There is one thing where stock camera is better than Gcam and it is image stabilization in 4K 30fps video recording. I will go through the settings in Google camera and you will see that there is a lot of customization and options and it can be confusing for people with no experience. Because of that I will upload my Gcam configuration so you can simply import it to your phone. To import Gcam configuration, you need to download that XML file and copy it to internal storage of your phone at the location Gcam, then config7. Go to your Gcam application, double tap on that black empty space next to the shutter button and choose the XML file to import. At the end of this video you will find some camera samples and a video created with this phone. Enjoy and see you in the next one.